quick, please don't give no super chats. Don't give anything, please. I just want to get through this as quickly as possible. Again, do not give any super chats because I want to get through this as quickly as possible. Um, so, with it, okay, so she any. Okay, so first and foremost, I watched uh, some of a stream that Carrie did today. Uh, I don't even know if she's still alive or not, but um, she was going through a video where Shani was um, uh, talking about how people treated her because she was poor. Okay, uh, she she was getting uh, uh, really upset, cussing a lot, getting all emotional because she felt like people was all dogging her because of the way that. Um, because of the way people were treating her or whatever and preventing her and preventing her from being able to succeed on social media, which is what that rant was all about. There are some people online that is so obsessed with social media and have done this so long that they feel like they want to get paid for what they did in the past and what they're doing now. And she's obsessed for wanting to, how are you doing, Sabella? Um, on, 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 um, she's obsessed with wanting to get her due. She sees, she sees, she sees everyone else getting paid online. Now she feels like she wants to get paid, so she's trying to guilt trip everyone. But that's neither here nor there. We're we'll get to that in a minute. So, Shani is claiming that she's never done nothing to nobody on the internet. Um, if this was court, there are several uh, uh, pieces of evidence that goes against her. Because even if I was supporting her. I would not be uh, a, a quick to agree with her on this because she's lying. She has done things to people. If if she hasn't, I would have no reason to forgive her for anything, right? So Shani has gotten online, gotten mad at black people, myself, Life of a Free Spirit, Dragnut, and other people on here, and has gotten angry and called people the N-word. You have done something to someone. You have shown your ignorance, Shani. You have shown your hatred towards people who, who are not like you, Shani, Okay. You have gotten on here and called people the N-word. And it's not just you, but it's also your man who's done the same thing. By the way, once again, please do not give any super chats. I want to get right through this. I don't want to read anything. Just quickly, let's let me just get through this quickly as possible. Because I'm actually going to defend Carrie a little bit here. I'm going to defend some people on here. So, the, the thing is, is that she has used racial slurs online. She has given people money on here to do harm to other people. A lot of people might not remember this, but she was giving money to Brett Keen to speak ill about me, about the whole house situation. And when, I, when Brett understood what was going on, Brett turned on Shani. Okay, so she was paying people to say terrible things about myself and other people on the internet. Sabella says, uh, she tried to take my husband. She tried to get me fired. She tried to get me kicked out of school. She said horrible things. Um, to and about me. She glowed it when I had cataracts. So Shani has done things to Sabella. All right. Shani has done things um, to 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 Dragon. Now, granted. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to go into what Dragon has done in the past. It's well documented. Um, but the point of the matter is, is that Shani has attempted to to to, to, to and I'm coming out of my mouth. It's going to sound kind of weird, but she has attempted to dock drop uh, a, a, a Dragon. She's attempted to mess with Dragnut's marriage. She's attempted to do a lot of different things to Dragnut. She porn bombed the geek room. Okay? She she's done a lot of things on here. And if and if she was in judgment day, she would never be able to go to Christ and say, I never did anything to anybody. That's baloney. Yes you have it. And it's not just you. Jason is just as guilty as you, Shannon. Okay? And, and that needs to be understood. You have done a lot of things to people on here. Okay, and I'm listening to the stream, and just for a second there, I thought that Carrie and some other people there was actually believing the garbage that was coming out of Shane's mouth. I said, you know, she's a really good con artist. She's good at convincing people that, look, you got to take care of me. You got to take care of me. And if you actually haven't seen it yet, go look at the mother's uh, video about how the mother described Shani. And if you watch her YouTube career, it, it, it explains everything to a T. I see some people there not liking Shani's mom for what she said. But no matter what, she was accurate about the things that she says. She wants people to feel sorry for her and she wants YouTube fame and she wants to get paid for it. She wants to be accepted by her enemies. And that's just not realistic. If someone is against you, it is for a reason. 
The only way these people are not going to be against you anymore is when you confront them and hopefully try to come to some type of understanding with each other. But she refuses to do that. She wants to come online, say what she says. She wants to be believed without any proof or any evidence. And then she wants everybody to go in their pockets, feel sorry for her and give her money. Now, I did this for the better part of three years with Shane. Okay. I was given the money when it was in Colorado. I let them stay here. Um, I was giving them money for food and clothing and whatnot. And Jason, you keep saying I'm making stuff up, dude. You keep saying I'm making stuff up. You have a YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel. When are you going to give me an invite to talk to me directly about that? Okay, it's easy to get on here and say people are making stuff up. It's another thing to get in the room with a person and prove it. Jason, when are you going to make the video about how the house smelled? You have yet to, re to, to say I'm wrong about it. And then number two, you, you have yet to, to show why I'm wrong about these things. Because you know I got neighbors, construction workers I can put on here that will say the exact opposite of what you're saying, dude. All right? So... Stop with this pity party, Shani. You're in the position that you're in because of yourself. Because you and your man refuse to work. If I'm not mistaken, I heard somebody in the chat once say that Shani said that, um, no, I'm sorry, not Shani. Jason said he would rather be homeless than work. And Shani said she can't work because she's crippled and she's handicapped and she can't do anything. Which, which both of them are full of it. All right? Let's go to the Bible here real quick for Shani, Shani who claims to be a Christian and Jason claims to be a Christian because I'm challenging that. In Galatians chapter 6, verse 7, it says, and listen very listen clearly here, Jason, because I offered you this back. I offered this back to you. All you had to do was get serious about your life, dude. You saw the conditions, but you love Shani, right? This is my response to you, uh, Red. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. And no, I'm not God. That's who I serve. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh so shall, shall reap, shall of his flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall reap the spirit life everlasting. And you ain't trying to reap to the spirit, dude. What you're doing is if you're you you say, look, okay, I lost everything. I'm gonna keep my woman. I'm gonna get on, on social media and beg people for a living, and then you're gonna get mad when people criticize you when that happens. If you think it's bad for you to beg on social media, wait until you're sleeping outside and people are walking past you and not even caring. Just wait. Because with that attitude that the two of you got, that's where you're headed. You're one argument away, Jason. One argument away with, from, from, with your uncle to being thrown back out. One argument away. You're the police coming over there one extra time away from being thrown out in the street, dude. One. And now God is giving you yet another opportunity to, opportunity to repent. Uh, Daisy, I totally agree. And that's what I'm going to do. Now, here's the thing. I've given, God has given you a phenomenal opportunity for you to get on here. Cut your ties with Shannon. And get your life together. You don't want to do it. You you want to be with Shani forever. What is Shani offering you, Jason? Besides nothing. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. My bad. She is offering you two things. The first thing that she's offering you is putang pie. That's number one. And you probably think she's the only one who can give you putang pie, right? The second thing that she's offering you is her EBT card. Man, you think nobody else out there can do better than that? Some people are throwing up. <laughs> but the reason why you're in the situation that you and Shani is because of you two hated people hating on you. Listen to me. People have hated me for years. I've been on here for 10 years. And people have been hating. Let, let's just keep it real here for a minute. People have been hating me on here for the longest. Okay? For the longest. For the longest. They're not saying things that they're saying about you guys. Uh, 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 saying those same things about me. Because I keep it real. And if somebody does say that, you know all you got to do is give me a link and we'll talk about it. Because that's how I handle my business. Okay? But you, Shady, you want to get on here and you want to make stuff up. Oh, my back hurts. I can't work. My shoulder. Look at this. 
car I got right here. And you make a billion different excuses. Your own mother said that when you was perfectly healthy and fine, that you was doing exactly what you was doing here. You were laying in the bed. You were, you, you, you were peeing at your kids and you were peeing on the floor. You guys wasn't doing what you had to do. And you was expecting somebody else to do everything for you. Then you got mad when somebody went to charge you for the utilities that you were using, for the space that you were taking. You can get on Twitch and you can lie all you want. I will testify in a court of law that all you did when you was here was lay up in that bed and you didn't bust your behind working the way you said you was. Laying up in that bed. That's all you were doing. And then when I came in here and had a little bit of Delta 8 with me, or I had a little bit of food, Gina's here. I wish I, I wish I would have recorded the day when she was crawling down the stairs. You know what I mean? But she came down those stairs just to give me a hug. She said, you see that, G-Man? Help, help. And I didn't know what that was. You know what I mean? But anyway, let's see here or there. I'm stupid. Yes, I know that. You can call me that right now all you want. But the bottom line is, Shannon, is that you can move around when you need to. Nobody carried you out of that hotel. You walked. Everybody heard you walking to the bathroom. How are you doing, celebrity user? I am a living witness to how lazy the both of you are. If you think I'm making anything up, Shannon, there's one surefire way you can prove that I'm a liar. You can get Reba, you, you can get Jason's uncle to come on one of your streams, and you can get him to tell everybody why you're not lazy and why you're why you're busting your behind. And no one's ever gotten you fired from job, Shannon. From what I understand from your mother, you was working at a nursing home or whatever, and you lost your job because you was making YouTube videos. YouTube is not a job. It can be a career if you actually make enough money to live on it. You do not make enough money on Twitch to make, to, to make a living off of this. And when reality is really going to kick you in the butt, is when CPS says, okay, what's your living situation? How much money are you making? When it's time to, to, when it's time to get those kids back. You ain't never getting them back with this attitude that you got of not wanting to work. I, I'm willing to bet the farm, Jason, that neither one of you filled out your paperwork to get Social Security or anything like that. Or to get temporary rent assistance. Because you should have it by now. Everybody in this neighborhood is telling me it only takes two weeks. Two weeks for somebody to get TRA, temporary rent assistance. Two weeks. You liar. No, what you guys are doing is you're comfortable now. You feel safe. Police are 40 seconds away. That was stupid, by the way, Shani, because now they can call the police on you whenever they want. And they know they're going to be there super fast. Just keep giving people free information about, about yourself. You're dumb. I keep telling you this. So... You get on here and you tell everybody your business and then you think nobody's going to mess with you because you didn't do nothing to nobody. You didn't call life like the free spirit the N-word. You didn't call me the N-word. You didn't call drag the N-word. You wasn't call all the black people on here the N-word. You don't still talk about those race issues no more, right? I'm starting to watch and see just what you guys were doing on here, right? You... You get on here and you deliberately lie to people saying that you're hungry when we all when well, not when we all, but a lot of people don't know this. But when you're asking for the money, you want Delta 8. That's what you want for medication. It isn't a proven medication to do nothing for your body. I've been doing some research on this. It doesn't do anything for pain. Delta 8 doesn't do nothing for mental Ill, for, for, for your mental health or anything like that. Delta 8 is supposedly an oil that comes from the for that, 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 that comes from a weed plant. That's all it is. And you have a weed addiction. That's why you guys left here and you packed up your bags and you went to Colorado because it was legal for you to smoke all you wanted. You didn't think about the future. You ain't think about the fact that the stock market could crash, even though I warned you that would happen. Um, you, you didn't think about the fact that you needed to invest your money. No, all you want to do is spend him into oblivion. And Jason's too stupid to understand that you're looking for his replacement. That's why, you know what? I'm not even going to try to break you up. Shani's going to do it for me. 
You know what? Some man is going to contact her. They're going to show the money and then she's going to be going. There ain't going to be nothing you can do about it, Jason, because you're not married, dude. You're not married. Shani, stop with the nonsense saying that you haven't done nothing to nobody. You have done plenty to people on here. I didn't forget. You told Brett Keen I deserved a bullet in my head. You told Brett Keen I deserved a bullet in my head. I never forgot that. You told Brett King that I deserved a bullet in my head. I don't know what that video is, but I'm going to play that video one day. She said I deserved a bullet in my head. You said that you wanted driving up dead. I have the text messages to prove it. I have shown, oh, and then Rev said that he didn't write that letter. I'll tell you what we'll do. Hey, Rev, why don't you write anything down in the real time? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't need to do that, Rev. Because you're stupid, dude. Like, when I say you're stupid and you don't think things through, you're just stupid. This house used to be yours before it was mine. So obviously you wrote things down in here. But I'm going to show everybody this how stupid Jason Egoroff really is at the end of the day. And I can say his name because he says his name on here all the time. Turn his light on here real quick. I want to show you something, Jason. Whose writing is this, Jason? Jason, whose writing is this? Whose writing is this? Whose writing is this? Do you know how many documents in this house has this handwriting on here, you moron? Let me show you something else. Hold on. I gotta make sure I got a light up here I can use. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I'm in the attic. I just wanna show them how dumb they are at the end of the day. Okay, hold on a minute. And Shannon, you said I destroyed your air fryer. It's right here. You need to come and get it or it's going in the garbage. All right. But what I want to show everybody is this. This is show you how dumb Mr. Egroff really is at the end of the day. Jason, you know what this is, man? You know what this is? You know what this is? This is all your paperwork, dude. This is all your paperwork right there. Okay. And I'll do another one right here. All of this is your paperwork. And a lot of this has your signature on it, dude. All I got to do is put that letter and line it up with, with and, and the stuff that you wrote in, 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 in regular lettering or whatever is lined up with that. And everybody will see how much of a liar you are, dude. What do you mean get out of there? It's my house. <laughs> I don't have to get out of nowhere. Let me see. Um... He has stuff he has written all over the place. I can compare the writing and show everybody that he's the one who wrote that letter. Don't give me that trash. Let me see something in here. I think this is another one of them Bibles he wrote in because he always liked to write his name in these Bibles. No, that's his mother, his grandmother. Hold on. Nope. But anyway. I'll do a video where I where I compare the what you call it the letter with that. I'll probably do that tomorrow or something like that, where I'll post it and show everybody what I'm talking about. But he's full of it. So you're in a situation that you're in right now, Jason, because you refuse to work. Shani, you're starving. You're not starving. You're hungry. You're not living the lifestyle that you want to live because you were too busy putting other people down. That's another thing that you did that you think everybody forgot. You see, when you were spending all of his money, okay. When you were out there getting high every day, I guess you forgot about the part where when 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 you was on cloud nine and you were telling everybody that they was going to be poor and you told everybody how much money you spent on perfume and you were showing off and you illegally evicted me and all this other stuff. Don't give me this garbage. You haven't done nothing to nobody. You have done plenty to people. You are unthankful. When was the last time any of you heard Shani give God thanks for anything that she has? Or had. She wasn't thankful here. Oh, this house is a piece of... Do you know how many different times Rev called this place a piece of garbage? How many times Shandy called this place a piece of garbage? They had no problem living here. Do you know how many times... Um, um, 
uh, 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 when when they was in that hotel, they called it a piece of garbage. They could have lived outside. Hong Tai Champ, I see you. They could have been living outside. They could have been sleeping outside. They could have been sleeping outside. They never gave God any thanks. They, they were thankless. The, everything that they were getting, they deserve. Okay? It's not about them, them simply reaping it. They deserve it. This is what they want. They know there's a better life if one of them work, but they don't want to do it. They want what they want. They want YouTube fame and they want to make their money off of the suckers that are on social media that are still helping them and giving them money. They are not telling them, look, I'll support you to get gas so that you can go get a job. I'm not going to keep feeding your habit, which is what she's going to keep doing. Have you ever thought for a moment, Shannon, what would happen if people stopped watching you? Think about this a minute. You depend, you need, listen to me, Shannon, you need drag not. You need Carrie. You need Celebrity Juicer. You need the Geek Room. Heck, you need me. You need all these people out here to talk about you to keep that trash you call a Twitch stream alive. What happens when everybody ignores you? What about that ad revenue then? And instead of you acknowledging the fact that you need these people, what do you do? You get on here and you just utterly just disrespect every last one of them. Now, I ain't no angel. People get on my nerves. I'm quick to block as well. Make no mistake about it. But I'm not dependent on individual people. I'll admit, I like it when other channels talk about me because it brings me viewers. But Shani, understand this. Understand this. If these people start talking about you tomorrow, you think you're doing bad now. You're really going to be doing bad. You need these people to talk about you. How you doing, uh, Miss Star? And I saw your video with your daughter. All right. Um, the point is, is that Shani, you are thankless. You are unthankful. You refuse to repent. That is the number one reason you are in the position that you are in today. You refuse to repent. You won't even acknowledge you have done wrong. Shani, do you understand that when you chose to be with Jason? Do you understand that? First of all, we all understand, I think by now anyway, that you only went there because of the money. The money is gone and now you're showing how you really feel about the guy. But do you understand that when you chose him? You're stuck now. There is no getting on social media, getting people to feel sorry for you. Some days are over. There is no coming on social media now and getting people to like you, thinking you some type of diva. Them days are over because you're showing everybody who and what you really are at the end of the day. All right, Miss Star, we can, we can work something out. Who we can talk. But you chose Jason. Now, guess what? You're going to get everything that comes with Jason. The laziness, the fact that he doesn't want to work, the fact that, that he likes his things the way he likes them. If he don't want to come online, you're not going to get him being all energetic and active or anything like that. This is the life you chose, and this is the life you will have for the rest of your existence on earth until you wake up and repent and acknowledge the wrong you have done to so many people on the internet. Hong Tai Chim, I can see your comment. You can obviously say lies. You, you um, uh, brought this on your own life. I don't feel sorry for you no more, Shani, because my eyes are open and I see you for, what, for who and what you are. You're a con artist. You're a manipulator. You're a very good liar. And you're delusional. You're delusional. You value a video game more than you value your own children. Oh, yeah. I said that, Shani.
You value a video game more than you value your own children. You value your video game more than you value your man. Because if you cared about your man, you would get him on a diet better than peanut butter and Red Bull. You don't even encourage the man to eat. And at the rate he's going, they're going to arrest one of They're going to arrest you, Shani. They're going to arrest you. You're going back to jail whether you know it or not. This man is shriveling up right before our eyes. And you won't even let the man go to the doctor. You think nobody has proof of you stopping him from doing that? And Jason, I saw your video about you loving her and how people have these mental illnesses. And this is my response to you regarding that, Mr. Hedegraaff. Sir, you are not a PhD, you are not a doctor, you are not a psychiatrist, and you are not qualified to tell anybody what they have. However, you yourself have said that you have one, and so does your woman. So how about this? If the two of you are cuckoo, cuckoo, then say that about you guys. Stop putting that on everybody else, dude. People are responding to you People are responding to you. People are responding to you because both of you keep cutting your phones on and your computer is doing cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. And that's what you guys are doing. What kind of an idiot who's homeless turns down a house? Cuckoo, cuckoo. And that's a direct response to you saying that the people that are coming out the shanty have issues mentally. That is a direct response. And I'm going to make sure I say that in the event that I end up in court with you or something like that. Because I know you, man. I know you. You think I'm stupid, but I know you. So the bottom line is you want to get on here and say that, that, that people who are watching you has got mental illnesses and, they're, and that they're obsessive and they, then they got addiction to... I ain't got no addiction to Shani. Shani's boring. I can tell you what she's going to say when she makes the next video. I'm going to play my video games. If it ain't that, she's going to get on here talking about some... Life sucks. My body hurts. PMS. And if it ain't that, pizza. I dream of pizza. I dream of cookies. I dream of anything that I don't have to get off my fat lazy behind and actually go out there and work and get. Foul fibromyalgia. Uh, borderline personality disorder. Arthritis. No, your number one Twinkies. <laughs> your number one, your number one uh, problem, Shani, is that you are straight up lazy. You know what? Instead of calling you Shani for Christ, I think if you ever go back to that, I'm gonna call you lazy for Christ. You're lazy for Christ because you're lazy. You're lazy. Think about how many hours there is in a day, Shan. Think about it. Think about how many hours in a day there is. Think about it. You literally do nothing for 12 hours straight but play video games and gossip and whine and cry about people that don't know you personally. You know what I mean? And, and, and their opinions according to you. And you do it your full 12 hours a day. And not one of those 12 to 24 hours do you actually think about going outside, driving downtown, picking up some paper, Picking up a pen and actually writing down your name and your information so that you can get assistance. Then both you keep lying about being married. I think it only costs about a hundred and what is it about two hundred and fifty dollars for you to go to the city and actually officially get married. Why don't you, if you're Shannon, Shannon, how about this? How about you stop lying about being married? Rev, you stop lying about being married and you sell this is something that you got for $200. Don't buy no Delta 8 and actually go marry the woman. Because when you stand in front of Jesus Christ, he ain't going to say that's your wife. I got bad news for you, dude. Jesus don't agree with you that that's your wife. He's going to have a totally different opinion about you. He's going to tell you, depart from me, you, 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 you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. That's what he's going to say to you. Saldaphon and Metatron. Those are demons. Those are not archangels. You are not the two witnesses. I 
can't believe you actually thought, Shannon. And I say this every time I go live, that you thought I was going to be in the background and you was going to, you must be crazy. <laughs> I was going to be like him. You, you must be crazy. Everything that's happening to you, Shani, is biblical. You reap the flesh. Now you're, I'm sorry, you sold the flesh. Now you're going to get back the flesh. You sold the flesh, you screw with people, you tease people, you belittle people, call them poor, laugh at them, call them racial slurs. Now all of this garbage is coming back to you. That is biblical. You and Jason are living in a fairy tale world. If you believe that Jesus Christ is on your side, he is not. I personally believe, and I am not alone in this, me. Vettel and a lot of other people on here believe that God is using these people to cause you guys to turn your lives around and repent. But you ain't going to do it. JC can't even admit when he's done wrong. Shandy can't even admit when she's done wrong. That's where it starts. You have to admit that you've done wrong. Then you have to stop doing it and go in a different direction. But you're not going to do that, Shandy. So you want to know what the consequences are going to be? You're going to be hungry, Shandy, because you refuse to do a little bit of work to buy some food. You're going to be cold, Shani. And you are going to be somebody's servant. You want to make fun of black people and call them the N-word and do all of that stuff? Well, guess what, Shani? This is your reality. You live in Rev's uncle's house. That is not your house. It's not even his. It's not even Rev's. It belongs to Rev's uncle. And when he tells you to jump, it's how high. When he tells you to duck, it's how low. You are going to do, Shani, what you are told, whether you like it or not, because this is the life you have chosen. You screw with people, now they're going to screw with you. And I know you're watching, Shani, so you can get on here and play your video game, play make-believe like you're not watching. I personally believe these people are nice to you verbally. Now, I believe some of the things that they've done to you is worse than anything that I would do. But, but, but as far as verbal, no, 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 no. I told people, I told people years ago, I, I'm telling you, Shani, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, everything that you're getting right now, you deserve. You deserve it. You think you're superior to everybody because you're white? You think you're superior to everybody because you, um... Because you had a little bit of money in your account that you was getting every month. You think you were superior to everybody because you was doing nice things, doing nice things for people? You thought you were superior? There's nothing superior about you, Shannon. What Miss Star talking about here? Miss Star says, answer me something. Did she come on to you? Yes, she did. In this house on multiple occasions. I can go up there and show you where everything happened. You know what I mean? Let me show everybody what I'm talking about. I'll show you where everything happened. They're not here, so. But. <clears throat> she was laying. She was laying right there. Okay? Zachary and whatchamacallit was coming over here hugging me up, calling me daddy right here. Telling me about Jason and him kicking uh, uh, Zachary and all this other stuff and whatnot. And right there, I put something in her hand. She was flirting with me right in front of the man because he's stupid and clueless and don't understand what was going on. She wanted me to spend the night here with her. She, she must be crazy. No, absolutely not. That woman's crazy. Some of us care about what Jesus Christ had to say. Some of us actually care about that. I don't know how many times I have to fix this place because they came in here and then and, and they just kept breaking things and breaking things and breaking things. I had to buy another stove. They broke that. They broke the refrigerator. Broke everything in here. Yeah, I get a little passionate about this because I don't like how I got played and how I got used by the both of them. I don't like that. I defended these people and I took heat from them and I'm not doing that no more. And it's going to be a long time before that happens to me again. So let that be out there for anybody who plans on doing that to me. So 
Shani, cut it out. Cut it out. You owe life of the free spirit. You know what? You owe life of the free spirit. You owe me. You owe drag. You owe, you owe everybody on here. You owe everybody on here. You got to explain yourself. Stop with this nonsense, insulting my intelligence and the intelligence of other people in here, saying that you haven't done nothing to nobody, because that is a lie. That is a lie. From the pit of hell. Now, Rev, again, just like Shani, you're getting what you deserve. Do you want to know why? You willfully choose to stay in a abusive relationship. Uh, hold on a minute. I hope I ain't blocked nobody by accident. Uh, kill me. Wait a minute. Miss Star said her hubby, hubby said he was wrong. He was going to find me and kill me. Good luck with that one, uh, Miss Star. He, they, they, right now, they, they, these guys are playing the victim card and they don't want to apologize to nobody for nothing. They don't want to apologize to nobody for nothing. No, I'm going to tell you what they did. This is how they broke, this is how they broke it. You're going to love this. Hold on a minute. So this is the stove I had to buy right here, right? It was a stainless steel stove in the beginning. A lot of you saw that when I did the first house thing or whatever. They opened the cabinet and then something fell and they broke the, um, the, the glass on this. Then when I was going to get that fixed, I couldn't even open and close the door because they broke the um the 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 um the door on this, on the stainless steel one that was here. He'll blame the kids, I'm sure. He'll blame the kids. So I have to buy another stove. I almost had to buy another refrigerator, but because I have a little bit of experience, I actually fixed it myself. Um, then there was the wall, and then it was a couple of doors that I had to replace that he broke. It's, it's, it's like they didn't care, and, I, and like, like I said, I believe what they were trying to do is frustrate me into giving them back the house. And, and that sounds like something that Shani would say. That sounds like something that Shani would plan. Because Shani doesn't think several moves ahead. She thinks she's so smart, you know, because she got that IQ that's better than presidents and all those other mess and whatnot. You know what I mean? So she thinks she's so smart. But I was getting frustrated. I was going to throw them out, not give them back the house. That's what was going to happen. They couldn't rake the leaves. They couldn't sweep the floor. They couldn't mop. They couldn't wipe the table down. This table that I'm on right now had cat pee all over it. This one right here. I don't know how many times I have to wipe this thing down. It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. But anyway, I'm, I'm on here a lot longer than I originally wanted to. I just wanted to let people know, do not believe Shani when Shani says she hasn't done nothing to nobody. Let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, okay? Shani ha has a habit of disagreeing with people. And then when Shani disagrees with people, she will do it in a way that will offend other people. And then other people, because you're on social media, are going to naturally respond to you. Okay, so when they're responding to something that you already said, you can't say they're harassing you. You can't say you didn't do anything. They're responding to what you said. Now, there is a difference if somebody's stalking you or following you around and you haven't done nothing at all. Shani, that's not your story. You have done something. You have used racial slurs. You have attempted to destroy lives on here. And you are presently destroying Jason. He's just too stupid or Putin pie wet to understand that. I always make this joke with them. Shani's a man of the house. Rev is the female. That's what Rev is. Rev does what he's told or he gets beat up. Period. Rev does what he's told or he gets beat up. And Jason, you can say that I'm lying all you want. All I ask for you is a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Everybody's going to know you're lying when I question you. Live. That's all I want, dude. A one-on-one -on -one conversation. I bet you I catch you with many of them. Because you know, that camera was, 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 was recording a lot of things in here, dude. Okay? And then I was actually here. To hear you guys argue, although she never put her hands in front of you, on you while I was physically in, in, in like in the house or whatever. Because um, if she would have did that, I told her I would throw her out. Especially if she disrespected me and did it right in front of me. Talking my 
house and you love her. The only reason you made that video is because she told you to make that video or she guilted you into making that video. And let me tell you how well I know Shani, um, Jason. Let me tell you how well I know him, how well, how well I know her and what she did with you. She, she was laying down saying, you don't love me. <laughs> that fake crying, no tears coming out of her eye. Doing all of that whining and crying. Jason, you should go rewatch that stream. Watch how fast she go from crying to being normal. Listen to me, Jason. Fix do that. It's not that easy to come out of crying to being normal again. Just go watch the video. Go watch the video. You won't because you're afraid. You want to know why? Because you need to believe this woman actually cares about you. She don't care about you. I would go so far to say that she hates you. She resents you. Because because of the way she's living right now. It's because of you, dude, because you're the man in the house. You're not providing anything. You're not going out there killing a deer and bringing home metaphorically, metaphorically, and having her cook it so she can have food to eat. You're not doing that. You're not bringing home the bacon, dude. You're not doing it. It's your fault. That's how she's looking at it. She can act as feminist as she wants. She expects you to bring home the bacon. And if you're not doing it, then she's going to claim she's doing everything herself. And, and by the way, Jason, I know she's lying when she says that because I know you run the errands. Everybody knows you run the errands. You wipe her butt when she goes to the bathroom. You bathe her. You take you're her. You're a housekeeper, but you're so you're so lazy. You won't even apply to the nursing. I, I forget what it's called, but you will literally be getting five. A lot of you don't know this, but Jason would be getting five hundred dollars a week. Before taxes, if all if he became Shandy she, a caretaker, he's too lazy to do that. That's why I'm done with him. I, I believe him being hungry because he refuses to work is biblical. Shandy being hungry because they refuse to work is biblical. Them being thirsty because they don't want to work is biblical. And God is giving them grace. But I'm going to tell you something. God, let me tell you something about the God I serve. God will let you be hungry to get a point across. God will let you be hungry to get a point across. She ain't got this God is love. God is love. God, God is a lot of things, but he ain't just love. If you just say he's love, he's an idol then. He's also a God of wrath. He's a just God. God doesn't lie. He tells the truth. And he said in his word, that if you if you sow the flesh, you're gonna reap the flesh. If I go out there and I do something that is not of God and it is in the flesh, I'm going to reap the flesh. But if I go out there and do something for God in the spirit, then I'm gonna reap the spirit according to the scriptures. So that's a, a slight defense for Carrie. Carrie, you don't need to feel guilty because of what Shandy's saying. Because, it, because let me tell you something. She's the type that will watch a news article or a news report and then go in on somebody. And then she should be okay. Nobody should say anything about Shannon at all. But when you guys say something about her, she's innocent. She didn't do anything. And that's not true. And Shannon, you are abusing Jason. You want proof, Shannon? Send him to the hospital. Let him get some help. Be alone for a little bit, uh, Shani. Stop being selfish. Stop only caring about yourself and let this man go to the hospital and get the help he needs. You ain't going to do it because you're a selfish prick and all you care about is yourself, Shani. You always only cared about yourself. You never cared about that man, only the money that he had. How many times have we caught you saying, Shani, uh, 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 in those videos saying that your money, how much money of your money you gave your money? None of that money was ever yours. You're not married to the man. You deserve everything you're getting, Shani, and enjoy your new life as a beggar. And by the way, Shani, that is not a sign of somebody being blessed. That is a sign of somebody being cursed. If you guys want to do something interesting, go look at Deuteronomy chapter 28 and go read from verse 1 to verse 15, 14 to 15. It lists all of the curses that will happen to a person that was living in Israel at the time for not keeping those laws. 
And I talk about the Hebrew words like this a lot. Go read those curses. All of those apply to Shani because Shani is in sin and so is Jason. Both of them are in sin. Neither one of them are doing. Um, why did you move there? What? Why did I move here the first time, uh, uh, Miss Dark? I didn't know these two were like this. And I'm going to tell you the guys on the show. If I would have known Shani was like this, what was it, like five, six years ago when this place was offered to me, I would have said, nope. I would have been like, nope. I didn't know they were like this. Or I at least would have made her um, give me everything in writing. And I mean everything in writing. No, I'm not going over there. Um, um, if I need to go over there for something, if the uncle ever calls me and wants to know information about Shani or Rev, he has my phone number. I have his phone number and he has mine. He can call me whenever he wants. I got no problem talking to him. But those two got to actually do something to warrant me going over there. Like Rev has got to come on camera with a bloody nose and a black eye or something like that. You know what I mean? And then I can go over there and I'll have a legitimate reason for going over there. But I can't go over there because I disagree with their relationship. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it is archived. <laughs> it is archived. And I've been catching up a lot. Catching up on a lot of the things that they were saying when they went to Boulder, Colorado. Uh, 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 Shani, if you're watching me for the first time, you never heard me talk about her and you're wondering why I'm talking about this, talking about her like this. Shani is a con artist. She tricked me into believing that if I gave her some help, that she was going to go work. Ironically, the same thing that her mother said. Ironically, the same thing her father said. Ironically enough, that what Chris said, and pretty soon, what Jason says, because trust you me, at some point, his eyes are going to get open, and he's going to leave. When he gets the courage, because he has to get beaten up in order to leave. He has to not care about getting beat up. No, mister, I trust you under the bus because I believe she ain't over you. That's what it was. She's really good at manipulation. Y'all just don't know. She's really good at it. Yeah, and that's why I apologize to everybody for the shanty stuff. I apologize to everybody, and rightfully so. Now I support all of you going after shanty. Every last one of you. Because I'm going to tell you something. When, when, you, when you don't know that you're being conned and you don't know that you're being used, when you finally wake up and realize that you've been used, all you want to do now is just to go out there and let people know that this woman, this woman is just evil. She's evil and deserves everything she's getting. All right, so I'm going to wrap this up. I appreciate people respecting me and not giving any super chats today because I don't want her saying, she ain't doing this for money. I don't want to hear that garbage. Shani, listen to me real good here. Stop getting on here representing Christ because you do not do it. You represent you. You never cared about Christ and you never will. Because the day you do care about Christ, Rev will be in therapy or he'll be at the hospital somewhere. And actually, you'll get a job and so will he. And then both of you will own all of the garbage that you guys have done to people over the years.